Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna show you a spreadsheet that I've been working on. It's based on the Design Guide 22. It's shelf angle for brick veneer supported by slab edge. Uh, first we input all the values. So basically this is a shelf angle that has a brick veneer on top of it and it's transferring its load. Uh, so basically it's gonna have four solutions. The first solution is gonna, not first solutions, first four steps, let's call it. Uh, the first part is select the angle thickness so that it will support the load of the brick. Uh, this is a problem where the load is being transferred to to this uh, angle to another angle and then I think subsequently to the column and to the slab. So here we grab the properties from the angle and then we use the formulas to obtain the parameters, the moment of inertia and stuff like that. Then we, we get the deflection and the moment and the rotation due to this moment. Um, then we just keep going, we get the bending length and the available frictional strength, and then we go into the next part of the problem, uh, and it's the weld. So basically, you have two, two L angles uh, in a different, in an opposite, like one, the first one is like a top L, and the bottom one is a bottom L, and now we're gonna check the weld between them uh, to see if it's uh, appro appropriate to take this, this low transfer. So we, we set the value, the FEX, the angle um, between the well, and then we get the length of the fillet well per foot. Then we, we are gonna design the head the headed studs that are gonna be located there. Uh, in this part, the equation is a little different, but I modified it. So I just, I follow this, this, this example, but I did make some changes. And then we're gonna jump into the last solution, but basically the lab reinforcement to support the cladding and stuff back on wall. Um, basically, this is gonna be the last part. And then we're gonna get the development length. We input the values. Uh, you need the table from this book to obtain these values. I'm pretty sure that table should be somewhere. And then if everything works out, as you can see at the bottom how you have like a minus or plus statement. Uh, that is basically, if it's one, it means it's okay. If it's zero, it means it's not okay. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. Have a good one.